Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a full face using Australian drugstore makeup. Well, everything except the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop concealer and powder you can pick up in stores in Australia. I will link where I bought this down below though. I do these Australian drugstore tutorials every now and then, so I will link the other ones I've done down below. I like to mix up the products as well so that I'm using a variety and you can get a feel for how they all work, especially on a fair complexion, you know, if you're like me. All right, well, if you're excited for today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let's get into it. Okay, let's start out with primer and I have a new one here from NYX. This is the Away We Glow Strobing Cream and I thought that this might be a good dupe for the MAC strobe cream. So it says on the back here, wear this moisturizing strobing cream alone or under makeup for a fresh and dewy glow and all day hydration. Now I picked up the shade Bright Star, which has more of a gold tone. And they also had one there that was more pinky. So it's in this squeezy tube, but it does come with a pump. Oh yeah, that's leaving a glow. Oh my God, that is looking exactly how MAC strobe cream leaves my face looking. <gasps> Just looking at what's left on the back of my hand here, I feel like this formula, you can definitely see the shimmer particles to it but it's still leaving a really, really nice glow. Look at that. Oh. For foundation, I'm going in with the L'Oreal True Match and my new shade is 0.5N. I am also filming a review on this one, so I'm quickly going to apply it and you will see the review very soon. All right, so foundation is on and I am loving the fresh look. It gives my skin, it does have more of a medium coverage, which I'm actually, I'm liking. Next, I picked up the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer. I got the shade Pale and the shade Fair. And I also picked up the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Powder. And this is in the shade Light. These shades are actually so fair. I'll just swatch them for you. So this one here is pale and this one is fair. I think the pale is going to be too light. Oh my God. So I'm going to go in with fair under the eyes. So online it says that this one comes in 24 shades. It's lightweight and it has a matte formula. So let's give it a go. The doe foot has a bit of an angle to it. I'm just going to start out with a little bit and I'll do one side at a time. Okay, that has really, really good coverage. I might put a little bit more of that shade just closer to my lash line there. And then I'll go in with a tiny bit of pale in the inner corner to brighten that up. Okay, that looks really, really good. I'm impressed with the coverage and it looks super smooth. I do have a big crease under this eye, so it is settling into that, but that's nothing new. I'm going to do the other side and then we'll go in and set it with the powder. So as I said, with the powder, I picked up the shade Light, which was the fairest one available. Now, the packaging does dip in and then the lid has like this stopper so when you close it it's like pushing down on where the powder comes from but then I'm finding it difficult to like get powder out because you can't tip it out upside down because that little thing is stopping it and then I can't really tip it into the lid because it's not a flat surface so okay I've just tipped some onto the top of that circle thing there 
Oh yeah, that looks like a good shade. I'm just going to take a nice big fluffy brush to apply that to the rest of my face. Yeah, I'm really not a fan of this lid situation. So this is a matte powder. I probably shouldn't have used it with the foundation and the primer combo because that was more of a glowy situation. But that's all right, that's all right. It still looks really good. It has settled in my fine lines under my eyes. But look, that's just who I am, okay? Next for bronzer, I'm going in with the Maybelline City Bronzer in the shade Light Cool. Now these ones are quite new to Priceline. I think there was about six shades to choose from and they do have varying undertones, which I thought was really great. This shade works really well if you've got fair skin and it's a nice light bronzer. So it's not gonna be too difficult to work with. To me, this shade is kind of a mix of Hula Light and the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I don't have any newer blushes to my collection, so I'm going in with my favorite Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Coral. This blush has a really, really beautiful sheen to it, so it just leaves you looking nice and glowy. If you've got a lot of texture on your cheeks, I probably wouldn't recommend, but it's just, ooh, it's so pretty. And then for highlighter, I'm going in with one of my favorites at the moment. This is the Flower Beauty Glisten Up Highlighter Chubby Stick in the shade Pearl Shimmer. So I just take the bum of my sponge and rub it on there. And then I kind of squeeze the sponge together and just tap that over my cheekbones. All right, so that is the base done. I'm just going to go ahead and give it a spray with my Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray. This might bring a little bit of life back to my skin after using that matte powder. Okay, for the eyes, I'm going in with the Astralis Girl Boss Palette. I think I've only used this palette once on my channel and I did use the bright blue under my lower lash line. I'll link that video down below. I wanna use the blue again but on my lid. There are a lot of neutrals in this palette, so you can do some simple looks, but I feel like being bold, so I hope you don't mind I'm using the blue again. All right, I'm going to go in with my Can't Stop or Won't Stop Concealer. Oh no, I'm gonna do my brows first. I like to do my brows before I do my eyeshadow. So for that, I'm going to use the Rimmel Brow This Way Fill and Sculpt eyebrow definer. Now, I'm not the hugest fan of this one, like I wouldn't buy it again, but it does do the job. I just feel like the formula is a little bit too waxy, you know? And then for brow gel, I'm using the designer br bleh, bleh. And then for brow gel, I'm using the Design Art Brands Brow Power Tinted Brow Gel in the shade Taupe. Okay, now I'm going in with my concealer. I can prep my eyelids and also carve out my brows. I've been in the habit of not setting my concealer as an eye base, but this concealer is just going like it's creasing and I feel like it's going patchy. So I'm gonna set it today. All right, I'm going to start off with this purple shade here and pop that through my crease and blend it out. These Astralis palettes just always amaze me. Like, look at how pigmented that builds up and it just blends out so beautifully as well. Then I'm just going to take this purpley shade here, which is a bit lighter, and use that to blend out the edges. And then I'm going to take this deeper burgundy and pop this in the outer and inner quarter corners to deepen it up. And I'm not sure if I want to use the blue anymore. I 
feel like it's going to be too dark. So I may go in with one of these two shades for the center. Yeah, I'll do that and I'll use the blue another time. There's always more time. Okay, so I just ran the matte shades under the lower lash line as well. Next, I'm going to take this shimmery shade here and highlight my brow bone and inner corner. For mascara, I'm using my Flower Beauty Zoom In Ultimate Mascara. I have been obsessed with this. And I'm just taking some black eyeliner and popping that in my tight line. This one is the Kmart OXX brand. This look is quite dark, so some lashes might spruce it up. I'll do the other eye and I'll make a decision after that. Okay, so these are the eyes complete. I'm just going to not bother with lashes because that's just how I've been feeling lately. For lips, I had some of the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Lipsticks, but I'm just not too keen on these shades with this eye look. So I think I'm going to go in with my favorite Astralis Girl Boss Lipstick in Empower. It's just such a perfect nude. Oh, I love it. All right, let me take out my hair. I may need to re-straighten it. Yeah, these side bits have curled up a bit, haven't they? I actually got my hair trimmed the other day just because the back was like a bit mullety. Mullety? But anyway, I got it evened out. So this is the first time I've straightened it since and I think it looks really nice. I'm surprised how long it is. But if you guys have any recommendations for like products that you can spray in your hair after you straighten it to make it look nice and sleek, is that a thing? Because I feel like that's what I need. All right, guys. Well, this is the finished look. Thank you all so much for watching today. Everything that I used, including brushes, I will list down below in the description box. And if you're not already, make sure you come follow me on Instagram. That will also be linked down below. If you like today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. That is all from me and I will see you in the next one. Bye.